and Aden Dwale, Aden Bare Dwale, uh, distinguished leaders present here this evening, members of the diplomatic corps, mama and family. Um, I am very happy this evening. And I'm very happy this evening because you all agree that this evening Aden Dwale is in his element. He is a happy man. Because my friend Aden Dwale is happy, I am very happy. Uh, he has said many things. I just want to underscore that it is true I have been to Aden Dwale's house countless times. And it is true what he said that all the time, whenever we are in his place, we are served tea and food. He already did not say that it's normally not done by him. It is done by this great lady, gracious lady. Thank you very much, Mama, for standing by my friend Aden Duale. I know you have been a pillar You've always been there for us during the highs and the lows. And uh, I am very happy that today you're here again to celebrate this moment with my friend. Um, I know a very strong case has been made for us to do what we should do. Um, but listening to I mean, reading the book by Duale, and I haven't quite uh, gone into detail uh, about that book, and what uh, Kindiki is about to do, and what uh, Papa Aroma is about to do, I do not know what will be left of me to write. <laughs> because uh, these people have cannibalized what my story, you know, and uh, it's now being in, in bits and pieces. But I will assess what is left of my story at an opportune moment, and then I will write the balance. Maybe it will not be on the record. Maybe this time it will be off the record, or maybe, or something. But let me say the following. Aden Duale is a solid, trusted, and dependable friend and Kenyan. I have walked and worked with him for 16 years. In that 16 years, we've gone through every kind of political experience and situation imaginable. In ODM, in UDM, in Jubilee, together we founded a political home in URP, in UDA, and finally in Kenya Kwanzaa. Barre is a trusted and trustworthy person and has no time and place for political betrayal, backstabbing, and the use and dump philosophy per perfected by many. I don't want to say who. When I found out Duale was writing a book, I was not surprised. In the years I have known Aden Duale, Kanda has been his most consistent quality. But Kanda is not enough if one does not have a story to tell and a message to deliver. The value of this book is that it tells a complete story. Often most people have, have a fashion of events and therefore fail to grasp the full import of certain actions and words, especially those of men and women in public life and political office. Honorable Duale has provided unprecedented access to two decades worth of political action, conversation, and events. From the 205 referendum, 
to the enactment of the 2010 Constitution, from the debacle that was the ICC cases to the 2013 elections, the creation and the rise of Jubilee, then the fall of and destruction of Jubilee, and the eventual victory of the Hasula Nation. This book tells the story of the biggest political events of Kenya's recent history in great detail, flavored with the unreserved frankness of Aden Duale. But this is not just a book about politics and politicians. It's the story of a man and his life in public service, a story that is forged in the heat of Garissa town and a deep lifelong faith in Kenya and Allah. It is a story that is made possible by hard work and the desire to make a difference for your people and also for your country. In one of the most profound chapters of the book, Honorable Duale discusses the intricate balance of playing a key role in the war on terror as a Muslim and the brave decisions he took to ensure that an entire religion did not pay the price for the actions of individuals. A stand that could have cost him everything, but he took it anyway. This book is a man bearing his soul out for all of us to read so that we can understand how far he has journeyed in his experience of this country as a citizen and a public servant. It is a reflection on family, on faith, on leadership, and on the Republic of Kenya. One of the things I admire most about Honorable Aden Duale is his dedication to the people of Dujis and Garissa town, where he represented in parliament and who he has advocated for in his entire time in government. In this book, his frustration at the lack of development in Kenya's north and his zeal and efforts to change the situation is clear for all of us to see. Perhaps because we are friends, perhaps because we are comrades. When I read this book, I get the sense that he has not written this book for entertainment. I get the sense that he is telling his story to enrich the history and record of those events, but more than that, I also see an argument, a stand for the kind of leadership Kenya needs and Kenya deserves. In this story, in this book, the events he has um, enumerated, the intrigues, the deceit, the betrayal, gives us a glimpse of a different side of politics that politics doesn't always have to be deceitful. It doesn't always have to be about betrayal. It doesn't always have to be brutal. Politics can be what Adam Duale and myself are today. It can speak to friendship. It can speak to loyalty. It can speak to working together. And it can speak to protecting one another. I can say without a doubt that being friends with Aden Duale is not easy. He's a very difficult man. Because whatever he believes in, he believes in. And sometimes I ran into a lot of trouble with many of my friends because of Aden Duale. But when it mattered, when it counted, you could count on Adam Duale. <laughs> Problems aside, challenges aside, 
but when it when it mattered he was he was he was in the right place all the time and that has also inspired me to be loyal to my friends because the people who stand with you when nobody wants to stand with you you should stand with them when nobody wants to stand with them I know many people uh, in this journey told me this Aden Dwale is giving us problems. He has chased everybody, the people, I don't know what he has done, this. But when the chips were down, Aden Dwale was there to be counted on. And that made the whole difference. I have quite a, a bit of a story to tell. When I, when I read uh, uh, this book, I felt nostalgic that uh, uh, even, even though uh, Aaron has, has thrown a few jabs on me uh, with the veiled accusations of, uh, yeah, yeah, on, on, uh, on many things. But that time will come and we will put it down in paper. And uh, I'm sure it will make some good reading. This book by Adam Duale is about partnership and it also speaks about betrayal. It's a book about democracy. It's also a book about elections. But generally, it's a book about Kenya. And I recommend as many as can to read this book. There are lessons in this book. There are ideas also in this book. And there are clues in this book about where Kenya has been, where Kenya is, and where possibly Kenya could be. My younger mentee, Silvana Sosoro, you have some good chapters here to read for the work you do in Parliament and many of your colleagues. As we all know, there is, a great, there is great power in telling our own stories. As Africans, we know that dignity can be lost in having others tell your story. And so I want to thank Honorable Duale for making the effort and the time to tell the story he has told for this significant dose of truth. And I think we all needed this, uh, this book at this point in time. I want to encourage my good brother, younger Professor Kithure Kindiki, to expedite his works. And, and the rest of us, uh, I would really want to read uh, a story, the book of uh, Cecily Mbarire. A girl, and allow me to say that, a girl that I, 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 I really admire because she's intelligent, measured, and makes the right decision. There is a, when I write my book, I'll, I'll, I'll write something about you. <laughs> you know, there was a moment you really surprised all of us. We didn't, make you, we didn't expect you to make certain decisions, but we were amazed. And I know many of my friends know that. I am looking forward to the book of Papa Waroma. I know we will have a problem with English, but we will try. <laughs> <laughs> we will try to read. <laughs> I think we will, uh, we will need a, 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 a dictionary to accompany, please. If you can... Uh, yeah, to, to interpret. And, uh, of course, all the rest of these good people here. I am truly happy this evening. In our midst, we have many friends, people we have journeyed together uh, in this book and in many of the other books. We will read about all of us. Uh, in this book, we have uh, uh, the former presidents, we have... Uh, 
President Uhuru Kenyatta in this book. We have Raila Odinga in this book. We have many of our other friends in different formations at different times, but it speaks to us as one people, the people of Kenya, irrespective of all the uh, political uh, permutations that uh, keep uh, evolving. Hopefully, with a dose of what Duale has said, we can make our politics much more subtle. We can eliminate deceit, betrayal, and conmanship from our politics and make our politics much more decent, much more people-centered, and we can build on solid political parties and political formations that are anchored around a philosophy about our country, about where we want to take our country. And we will keep, and I have told many of the younger politicians uh, that we are available to mentor the younger politicians. It is our, it is the best thing we can do for our country. And we want the younger politicians to be better than us. We want them to be better than, so that they can do better than we have done for our country. We all want to retire into a country where we have better leaders, with better ideas, with better plans than we could ever put together. That, that is our, uh, the heritage we can, we, can, we can put in place. And part of it is what Duale has done, to write a book so that apart from the mentorship we are giving these younger ones, they can also read, they can internalize, and they can learn, and we can have a better country. So, again, I think it is a big challenge that Duale has uh, placed on our doorsteps for us to also document what is good, what is not so good, our successes, our failures, our frustrations, our joys in a book so that it can help others as they uh, journey in, the, in, in our country, in leadership, and, and in every other sphere. So, again, uh, this evening I am truly, truly proud. Congratulations, Aden Bare Duale, my friend. Uh, you have taught me loyalty. You have learned from me loyalty. And we've all grown together as, as friends. And, and hopefully we can, uh, the younger politicians can learn from us that uh, loyalty pays, uh, it's paid for me, I'm sure it's paid, we all know it has paid for Duale. It's good to be genuine about friendships, it's good to be loyal to friendship, and it's also good also to speak your mind when times calls for speaking your mind. And uh, uh, I don't want to say many things because uh, I have good material for my book. Yeah, on, on, on many of these people sitting here and all the things that we've come through. And uh, you agree with me that I have a very difficult team. Just imagine Isaac Ruto on one corner, very difficult person, very problematic. Adam Duale on another, very problematic. And somehow you have to figure out how all these people must be part of a team. It, it, is, it is quite something. But uh, by the grace of God, we have always built a team. And um, of course, we are waiting for Ricky G to write, to write the book about the truth. I think you as we call it the truth. <laughs> eh? maybe, maybe the whole truth or something. <laughs> So, again, congratulations, uh, Duale, congratulations, Mama, and the family, and to all the uh, future writers who are, who, are, who are here and those who are not here. Asante Nisana, uh, I don't know whether I said everything I wanted to say. 
I think I'm also a bit excited. Um, I think I've said everything I wanted to say. So 